Hey guys, what's up? Welcome to another Photoshop tutorial. This is Andre from PSD Box. And in this uh, beginner level tutorial, I want to talk about adjustments and adjustment layers. And just uh, show you the difference between uh, these uh, two concepts and show you the advantages that you have on using adjustment layers. So let's get started. So as I said, this uh, is a tutorial that's um, for the beginners series that I have on my website and also I have a playlist uh, on YouTube. And well, it's, I have this uh, image here on the background. Uh, this is just for um, demonstration. You can use any image you want. It's not uh, important at all. And one thing I want to mention is that I will not talk about uh, each individual adjustment that uh, you have in Photoshop. Uh, I might use some of them uh, for demonstration, but I will not talk about each of them uh, individually, so I'm not going to specific details, um, but I'll just uh, make a general description or general I'll talk in general about them. So you can access the adjustments if you go to the image menu, and here you have adjustments. You have this list of adjustments. You can see they are separated. On the first group here on the top, you have the uh, this uh, four adjustments are for contrast and brightness of the image, and this one are these ones are for color. I'm using Photoshop CS6, so this is a new adjustment, which is color, uh, color lookup, it's new, it's only on Photoshop CS6. The adjustments that you have here on the bottom, on the bottom half, are more creative adjustments, uh, you can create uh, more creative effects with them, but the most commonly used ones are here on the first half, on the top part. And then you also have adjustment layers, which are almost the same thing, so if you go to layer, new adjustment layer, you will see a list, it's a bit smaller than the other one because we have uh, some of the adjustments cannot be used as adjustment layers and well in this uh, video we'll talk more about this adjustment layers and tell you the difference between this layer this adjustment layers and the normal adjustments uh, let's call them normal adjustments and well just uh, have this image here I will not unlock it and let's apply our first adjustment Let's choose, for example, Hue Saturation. And when you click the Hue Saturation adjustment, this uh, new window opens. And with this adjustment, what you can do is change the color. For example, you can desaturate it and create a black and white version of your image. Or you can increase the saturation and add more color. You can see the effect. If you go to the extreme, you'll start to lose quality on the image. And with the Hue, you can change the the color and get this kind of uh, effect. Let's leave that on zero. I will not touch the lightness and just uh, leave that on 35 and click OK. Now we applied that adjustment. Uh, let's say that we want to make this image a bit brighter. Maybe let's assume I don't like how it looks. So I will use uh, brightness and contrast adjustment. Uh, usually for beginners it's uh, you can use this one. Uh, increase the brightness and also increase or decrease the contrast but I would not recommend using this uh, adjustment because it's not giving you too much control for beginners it's, it's a good adjustment but I rarely use it uh, you could use the levels instead because here you have a bit more control because you have uh, a slider for each um, for each part of the image so on the left side you have the shadows here you have the midtones and then here you have the highlights so you can see with the shadows you control this part of the image, the darker sides. And with the midtones, um, things that are close to the gray, uh, to the gray values, so colors that are not too bright and not too dark. With the highlights slider, you can control things like uh, this uh, foam here on the uh, on the on the water or this part of the of the sun, which is pure white. So the brightest parts of the of the image. And I want to increase a bit the midtones because I want to have a bit more light here. You can see how the image lights up a bit, but now the problem that I have is that the shadows are too are too white, so I might want to increase this a bit, and that way I add more contrast to the image, and you can see uh, before and after. I made it a bit excre uh, extreme, so you can see the the result. And with this uh, icons here, you can uh, you can create you can uh, create. Um, uh, you can change the white balance uh, if you if you 
if you're into photography and things like that you can uh, you can use this adjust, uh, automatic adjustments to um, to color to correct the, the white balance so for example if you have this white area which uh, you know it should be white you can grab the white the white uh, picker here and just uh, click there and it will adjust automatically um, assuming that this uh, should be white or if you have a, a shadow that uh, it's not pure black you can get this and just click on the shadow and uh, the um, the tones are adjusted automatically to make that color black and everything it's adjusted automatically but uh, I would not use that uh, I'm not I will I don't use that uh, too often so let's uh, leave this as it was and click OK so now we applied two adjustments hue saturation and levels but now we have uh, a problem with this and the problem is that I cannot I cannot change those settings I cannot undo them sure I can right now because I have this um, I only have this uh, two states on the history but if I create a new layer and for example paint something here or if uh, if I dodge and burn areas of the image I start to add things here on the history and if I want to go back and change the uh, the settings of those of those adjustments I no longer have them in the history so that's that's a big problem so what we can do to fix that so in other words if I decide I don't like the adjustment that I did uh, I cannot undo that so a better way of applying adjustments is using what's called an adjustment layer so I have this uh, snapshot here to go back to the original state uh, before applying the before applying the um, adjustments. Uh, I did that with this uh, snapshot uh, icon. It's only available in Photoshop CS6, so you can uh, create like um, copies of the of the image. Let's see what those adjustment layers are. You can access them a lot quicker if on the um, on the layers panel. If you click this icon, you will see a list which is a bit bigger than the one you have here and I don't know why so if you go to layer new adjustment layers you have less adjustment uh, here than you have here and I don't know why or at least that's what I think and let's add the same adjustments hue saturation and increase the saturation to 35 another thing you have to another thing you can notice is that the window is different and in Photoshop CX, uh, CS6 I have that here on the secondary dock uh, I explained how the interface works in Photoshop CS5, but um, this is, uh, works the same. The secondary dock, you have that in Photoshop CS4 and CS5 as well. And I think in Photoshop CS3, I'm not sure. And you can see the interface is a bit different, but uh, you have the same controls. You can increase or decrease the saturation and do the, have the same controls. But the big difference now is that you can see I have a new layer here which is different than this one. You have this icon here which indicates this is an adjustment layer and you also have a layer mask and with this layer mask what you can do is hide the effect on certain parts of the image that you're not interested in applying that effect on so I could get the brush tool. Uh, by the way I already have a video about um, layer masks. Uh, you can click this link that will I will add a link here and you can watch that video if you don't know what layer masks are and I can get the brush tool and uh, make use hardness to zero increase the size a bit and what I did is I just increased the saturation and let's say I don't want the sky to be that saturated I can take away some of the effect just by painting on that or maybe here on the water and you can see that I took away the effect on the area that I painted with this uh, layer mask and if I want to uh, bring back the effect I'll just uh, switch to white and just uh, paint that effect back on the image so that's uh, another thing that you have uh, you have the control of uh, hiding the effect so making you can make selective adjustments let's fill that layer mask with white another really big advantage that you have is that you can always change the settings of your adjustment if you double click this icon you will open this window again and you will see that you can you have the ability to change the settings here which is which you couldn't do on the uh, if you if you would apply the 
adjustment from the image um, setting from the image menu sorry and you can also hide or unhide the um, adjustment layer and another big advantage is that you will not touch the original image which is the background layer it just uh, adds the effect without touching the without touching the image itself so you work non-destructively another important thing about adjustment layers is that they affect every single layer that is uh, below them so I have this other image here and I selected this part and I'll copy it and paste it um, between the background and the hue saturation I'll create the new layer and paste it there and I'll have to make it a bit smaller like that and just zoom in a bit I'll reset this so now the hue saturation adjustment affects the background and the layer one which is this uh, monument here let's name this monument so now the hue saturation affects both layers and I'll show you that I'll add another adjustment layer I'll add um, curves for example this is the same as the levels you can contrast uh, you can control the uh, contrast and if I click here and drag down you'll see that both layers are affected by the curves layer and also the hue saturation so these two adjustments affect everything that is below them in this case these two layers but if you want an adjustment to only affect one layer you can do that if you create what's called a clipping mask so let's uh, move this monument above the hue saturation and now the curves uh, now the hue saturation only affects the background but not the monument because the monument is above it so it's not affected by the hue saturation and if I want this curves adjustment to only affect this uh, monument here what I can do is create what I said uh, it's called a clipping mask so just uh, select the curves right click and choose create clipping mask and that way I'm only restricting this effect to this layer you can see that arrow there indicates it's only affecting this layer so if I open this again with double click I can make changes that I want it only affects this layer because it's clipped to that layer and you can edit as many adjustment layers as you want as clipping mask let's add a color balance for example and clip it to the monument and you can make all the changes that you want it now only affects the monument layer and if you want to release that clipping mask you can press and hold the alt key and if you put the mouse be between the two layers you will see that icon and if you click uh, it releases the clipping mask and now it affects both layers the background and the monument so it affects everything that is below it uh, you can also do that if you right click and choose uh, release clipping mask or something like that let me see yeah release clipping mask or create clipping, uh, clipping mask but it's a lot quicker if you use the alt or option key and just uh, click see that icon when you put it between the two layers and if you click you can create or release the clipping mask another really big advantage of the adjustment layers let me delete uh, this two and this one as well is that you can use uh, blend modes and I'll add another adjustment layer a gradient map this time and I'll add this I'll choose this gradient uh, just a quick uh, explanation a gradient map what it does is remaps the colors of the image on the left side we have shadows and on the, on the right side we have the, sh the highlights and you can see that the all the shadows here are this uh, purple here I'll change it to uh, this uh, blue this dark blue and the midtones are a mix of yellow uh, of orange and blue and the highlights are yellow and that's what a gradient map does it remaps the colors and I'll click OK and as I said you can use blend modes with all the adjustment layers because now this behaves as a normal well not not as a normal layer but uh, it behaves a, as a layer so uh, it allows you to change the opacity it allows you to change the blend mode let's choose overlay and you can see the effect that we get and uh, let's try soft light for example 
increase the opacity. And you can see the, you can get more creative effects and change the mood of the image. Uh, you can choose, for example, photo filter and choose one of the presets here or just uh, choose your own color. And you can choose another grain um, blend with this one. And you can you can clip them to only affect the monuments. You have a lot of uh, a lot of room. You can uh, become really creative with this. So as you can see, adjustment layers are a lot better than using the adjustments from the image menu because you have a lot a lot of uh, advantages. You can enable or disable them. You can always remove them. You can change the settings. Uh, and the most important thing of all is that you don't affect the original image. So you're working non-destructively. So I hope this tutorial was useful uh, for you. And if you want more basic Photoshop tutorials, I have a playlist called Photoshop for Beginners. Uh, right now I'm on my channel and I have the playlists um, right here. You can see them all. Let's see where it is. Photoshop for Beginners, I have right now uh, 23 videos. And also you can uh, visit this channel, uh, Manny Photography, he has uh, some really awesome tutorials, especially the ones um, dealing with the tools, uh, hair re uh, retouching, skin effects, and a lot of creative, um, a lot of creative effects you can do with Photoshop, and you have a lot, uh, an entire series only about the tools working with masks, and uh, you can see a lot of uh, great videos he has. And um, well, you can you can learn a lot from this channel as well. And as I said on my on my own channel, I have uh, this list only for beginners, and I have some uh, some other uh, tutorials on my website as well. So well, I hope uh, you liked this tutorial. This is Andre from PSD Box. See you next time.